Hi guys, it's Morbid Magician here. And again, I'm changing my name from Morbid Magician to More Fit the Channel. From inspiration from coming from Wetpad to YouTube. And then for the topic of magician. So again, I will now be known as the Morbid Magician. Alright, so today in this video, I'm going to do an analysis video on my outlook for the rest of this season. Based on the Super Tease trailer, which I'm going to put right here so you guys can check it out. So before, if you want to watch the rest of this, watch that first so we have something to talk about. Because it is the main point of the video. Alright, so first, I want to bring up the subject of the dragon. The dragon was something I was completely like, oh my god, it's a dragon, it's talking, it's going to help them get in the underworld, and I'm just amazed by it. But the thing that's going to get me is that what the dragon did for them to get in the underworld. So, spoiler alert, if you have not watched the new episode, because I did keep the new episode in reference to this video. So, the recent one on April 5th which was my birthday turned 22 guys thank you and on that episode the dragon asked for the button to fillery and what confuses me is why the dragon would want the button and I feel that the dragon wants the button because they are trapped in that sewer and they cannot traditionally leave and with that button that can take you to the vast and magical land of Fillory which I am sure is deprived of dragons for some reason and the fact that Quentin gave the button to the dragon means that that dragon can now go to Fillory which I find to be kind of a foreshadowing bad thing maybe not in this season but following maybe another season that's going to be something important because that button is the thing that can get you to Fillory if you're not Penny okay or unless Fillory wants you next I'm going to move on to when Elliot explains can you help me save magic from Julia and as a recent episode, we know he got kicked out of Fillory because he brought democracy to Fillory. And that's my first point to me talking about this, is because when he tried to change the way Ember and Umber had set royalty of Fillory from hierarchy to, I'm not sorry, not hierarchy, monarchy to democracy, that went against all that they had, meaning royalty did not matter anymore. It was going to be off the people's vote, which they did not want them to have. So, they kicked Elliot out of Fillory. And the only way he can even get back to Fillory is through the button or through Penny. Because just like Martin Chatwin came the Beast, he was kicked out of Fillory. Fillory no longer wanted him. So, what did he do? He had Jane Chatwin go track down one of the magic creatures in order to get a button to Fillory. Now, that may be a next choice in the matter, but I feel with his assets to Penny, he may not do that. But again, we have to think that a lot of this stuff coming from it is tied to Fillory. I mean, there's something more going on than is expected, obviously, because we can see that at the end of the teaser that the entire castle is starting to come down meaning that something is about to go down <laughs> but still I feel that all the magic creatures we have seen are going to play a role because in this season we see a lot of more magic creatures than we saw in the very first season and I think that's something to take notice of because we have animals that talk, talking trees, different races, different species. And they're starting to come more into fruition when they were always there in season one. But they weren't really shown. That could have been because of like budget or just storytelling. But this season, races and species of magical descent have been kind of heavy more honestly than you think. The white lady, the dragon, the fairies, the talking animals, the trees, the tree people that were just burned by Julia, and, and a god. 
All these things are non-human magical entities and they've been really centralized and focused in this world as a solution or a potential problem. And that's something I'm starting to pick up from every episode. Like we even we even had an invisible monster attack studio for her um demigod child. And we also had the um the the human vassal that smells so bad that God couldn't find you. Things like that are powerful without having actual power being a magic creature. So I think that since this whole season started with magic creatures and was influenced by magic creatures, it's gonna end with these magic creatures coming down to it. That's my idea for that one. Now my last one I'm gonna bring up, um, no my last two I'm gonna bring up, is now going to be over Alice's, Alice coming back finally. Of course, we see in the last episode that instead of getting Julia's shade from Underwear, we got Alice's shade from Underwear. And since we got Alice's shade, that means we can get her Niffin and we can take and combine it with her shade in order to bring Alice back. Now, I think that's the key because we're going to need Alice. Honestly, we're going to need Alice. One of the strongest, the pure strongest and the smartest of all the magician, magicians group is her. And I feel the knowledge that she will retain from me to Niffin and her already bolster his knowledge with Julia no shade can lead to some very powerful things because Julia is has advanced magical knowledge because her mind is so clear and her shade is removed and with Alice going back from not having shade then she again still most likely will retain the knowledge while she was a shade knowing all the complex magics hitting in the world or some things that no one can even comprehend in other dimensions. So that's my theory with that as this also brings up an idea. I was thinking of having a Niffin based video of my theories on the Niffin because this kind of filled in the gaps for what exactly a Niffin is to me in a sense. So if you guys think I should do a video on just the Niffin, on like my theory of Niffins, then you can leave a like or comment telling me we should do it because then I'll go ahead and do it. You know your comments mean a lot to me. Alright, and then the last one I'm going to discuss is the Poison Room that regards the book Destroying Gods aka Rain Art. Now, in the last episode we were discovering how the Poison Room is filled with books of that could cause damage to the universe and everything in it, such as destroying gods, even the own library's book information. And this is where it becomes crucial because that poison room, again, has all the knowledge of the world that is concurrent, closed off. My question being, who closed it off? Um, who really does this? And why is it chosen to be closed off? And since it's chosen to be closed off, I feel that it could be something that is crucial towards the ending of the show. I feel as if that they won't kill Raynard, they won't defeat him because of the poison room. Because once they open it, that means everybody else can get into the poison room. And I feel like he's going to get in the poison room. Because Raynard knows Katie and he knows of Julia. They're trying to stop him. Something tells me of something. He's going to have a... And he's a trickster. He's a trickster guy. So obviously I felt he's going to have a trick to where he was ready for them. And he knew exactly what they were doing. So... He got into the poison room too, isn't aware of their whereabouts. Why he's never really scared because of anything. He, When it comes to Katie, have we never noticed that he's been kind of prepared when it came to her? If she was ever around, he was more prepared and ready than versus when she was just working with Martin Chatwin and Katie the Beast. And he was just caught off guard with the Beast around. Things like that I've been taking notice of. So, that's why I feel if they do, Katie, they will get in the poison room, but Raynard's are also going to get in there. And that's only going to cause more problems because now he has some other knowledge that he may not know about. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. 
Uh, it seemed to go a little bit long today, but I still hope you guys enjoyed all my different theories and ideas from that trailer. I can do some more of these if you guys like, because I get a lot of ideas, because I will watch everything The Magicians. So if you guys, again, still have any more ideas for the channel, um, be looking forward for some more videos. Make sure to like it, subscribe, comment. That's how I get feedback back. And check out the other videos, especially my favorite characters videos right here. And that's all today. I'll catch you guys later. Remember, this is more of a magician. Bye.